The Bible has a high view of celibacy as it has a high view of married, uh, the married status. It doesn't put one uh, over against the other. It doesn't consider one superior than the other. They are different gifts given to different people. Uh, the Catholic Church has misinterpreted the high view of celibacy by imposing it to its priests. It's, it's a, it is a long tradition that uh, has been long established in the Catholic tradition, the Catholic Church, whereby priests have been prevented from uh, getting married. And this uh, imposition of celibacy is also another component of the big picture that helps us to explain why, especially in the Catholic Church, these abuses have been committed. Once you prevent people from having, uh, exercising their priestly roles or their pastoral roles without them allowing them to get married, you impose them a straitjacket that sooner or later will explode in many cases. So this is not an order given by Christ. This is a, something that the church has decided and it has put boundaries where the Bible has not put boundaries. So I think it is another aspect that needs to be accounted for in trying to come to terms with, God, with what went wrong in the Catholic Church in dealing with the abuses.